here along the railroad line. And back in the old days, railroads just like today were a vital part of the economy, transporting people, goods, and supplies to towns and communities all throughout these places. There's a history throughout this area. At one time there were logging and turpentine operations all throughout these places here where I'm exploring today. Canoe out here by the pond. Be nice to take that out there. Amazing views out here in the wilderness. Really nice area here. Appears to be some sort of pond, but it may have been actually part of a quarry at one time where they were doing some mining here. I'm seeing some limestone throughout the area. Today this quarry is filled in with water. This trail here is built up along this quarry. Used in the past, and it's just some of the Activities took place here long ago. There was a lot of mining industries in this area. Phosphate, limestone, sand mining, just to name a few. Today nature has reclaimed many of these places. Seeing limestone throughout the area, some of these Mound-like formations appear to have been built up over time. Just some of the natural features in this area. You can see these swamps here behind me. Let's walk over here. Lots of limestone seen in this area. Seeing these limestone mound formations, very interesting. I could see why these areas would have been utilized for mining in the past and not just in more recent times, but long ago as well. You see when Native American Indians lived and hunted throughout these areas by the river, they utilized a lot of this limestone. It was a valuable resource for them to make tools and weapons. And seeing some of these rocks here reminds me of an adventure that I did up in the mountains of Georgia. It was really beautiful there, a place of history and there's a Native American Indian village there in the mountains. It's over a thousand years old. As I was hiking along the trails there and 
up some of the ridges on the mountain there, I could see these rock walls and the natives had built these terraces long ago. It was part of their village. So seeing some of these rocks here brings back those memories. Now, I was looking at a map and it appears this quarry and some nearby ponds are spring fed. There's a spring run not too far from here through the woods feeding this quarry and some ponds. So when they were out here digging in this particular area, they may have exposed some of that spring and reach the aquifer and filling this quarry in with water. Some of the interesting features in this area I'm exploring. Interesting here, see these foundations, they've been part of a mill site here at one time. It's really neat looking at the details and craftsmanship that went into making these structures. Now these are just the foundations. There would have been more here at one time. And this is just some of the history that remains here today. See some bricks laying around the area. And a, a structure was attached to these foundations here. There's a foundation here goes into the ground. May have been some structures in this area. It would have looked different at one time. Seeing some bricks throughout this area of the woods. A lot of stuff is covered up. See an old band here. This goes about three or four feet down into the ground here where I'm standing. <laughs> 